Hey everyone, today we're talking about WrestleMania 9 in our 30 days of WrestleMania. We're, 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 we're getting through it. We're getting through it. Um, this, of course, was the one that was the world's largest toga party, of course. Um, so much fun. Uh, Finkus, Maxim Finkus Maximus, the everybody coming out. Uh, I, I love the intro and the animals. You can't really get away with the animals. I was just hearing about how they're, they're taking elephants out of Barnum and Bailey, for instance. Um, but uh, really, really fun atmosphere. Um, a few yeah, pretty pretty fun matches. Uh, a lot of stuff going on here. Um, we have Doink and Crush, the most colorful uh, match of the of the day. Um, we had Hulk Hogan in in a tag team match, and of course him coming in and taking the belt from Yokozuna. You know, in the end, which is was the weirdest the weirdest end to a WrestleMania. And really funny to me them saying this is the first time the title has changed hand twice in the. Uh, in the uh, in a night at WrestleMania, and then the next next year, it's two actual title defenses um, with the tournament. But we'll get into that, of course. Um, and I'm also, I'm always really weird about the streak with Undertaker with Giant Gonzalez, the way he won by disqualification. Um, yet another tag team that I think they won by they won by a weird disqualification. Um, and, and I so many this 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 surprises me. Over the years, especially in these early ones, how many times the big titles like that? You know, we kind of complain about their their state in the last few years uh, for the Intercontinental and other other subtitles um, at WrestleMania. But I mean, a lot of these were, especially when it was a heel, you know, uh, owning the title. Uh, there were a lot of funky walkaways and disqualifications um, for these. There's there's no. I, I don't know. It, it, in my head, I see I see uh, WrestleMania as a place of finality, but it isn't for a lot of the storylines, you know, um, especially when it comes to the lower titles, and they just kind of move them on from there. Anyways, um, but all in all, I mean, this is one of those shows that I watched to death uh, back when I was a kid, <laughs> possibly partly because I think I think the uh, the toga party really did kind of uh, uh, capture my imagination at the time. Um, it was, you know, the new generation. Hulk Hogan was back after he had not been around for a year. And I was, you know, one of the biggest Hulkamaniacs, I'll tell you. And, and seeing him come back and win the belt was tremendous at the time. You know, I know and this is kind of like his last hurrah before going to WCW. It's putting an interesting perspective on it as well. Uh, really, really, this is, uh, we were back to having uh, America the Beautiful at the beginning um, of the show. And, uh, you know, by Little Richard. Oh, we had Re Reba McIntyre at 8. That was really impressive, too. Uh, Burt Reynolds and some girl from Up All Night were your big celebrities of the time. Um, I was waiting for a silk stockings plug, as we say. I don't know. I don't think uh, Raw... It was probably just spinning up at the time, actually. So, there you go. Um, so, let us know what you think around WrestleMania 9 on the comments on YouTube or uh, on Twitter at Mayhem Show. I'm at Sorgatron if you want to talk to me directly, and we'll catch you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.